29 forecast. Well, the next big thing I'm tracking from the weather center is going to be a warming trend after a couple of days with temperatures a little bit below average. We're going to see daytime highs get close to 90 as we go into the first few days of June. Until then, in that first forecast for the last day of May, that's tomorrow, we'll have temperatures starting off in the 50s. Sunrise is just before 6 a.m. It'll be 60 at 8 and uh, pushing 70 by midday, mid to upper 70s, perhaps 80 by 24 hours from now with sun sunshine and a couple of fair weather clouds and we're seeing a few fair weather clouds outside live in Earliesville, the Hollymead area at the Charlottesville Albemarle Airport. We're seeing some blue skies up above and that has given us a boost in temperature and looking out into the Blue Ridge Mountains into the wintergreen vicinity. If you were watching at noon when I showed this camera, you could barely see anything. We were socked in with fog, but now the fog has lifted and we're seeing a few cumulus clouds up in the sky and temperatures were the sun has come on out. We're almost 80 in Charlottesville currently. We're, we have that bonus temperature of 77 right now, but where we've had clouds and a few rain showers like in Lovingston, Dillwyn over to Louisa, Readings right now are in the 60s, so cooler north and warmer off to the north. And we've all had some rainfall since Sunday. Most of this rain on our Doppler estimation is showing on Monday. Most of these tropical downpours and even rumbles of thunder occurred yesterday morning and last evening. Doppler estimates show, well, the airport only picked up maybe a tenth of an inch of rain, but you go just south of downtown Charlottesville and they picked up an inch of rainfall. We also had a couple of swaths of heavier rainfall there in Louisa and also Orange, Culpeper, Madison, and portions of Greene County. Some of your rain gauges picked up nearly two inches of rain. Now here's where it's raining currently and virtually we're seeing the entire area on the drier side. Those downpours that moved out of areas of Buckingham and now towards Amherst, Lynchburg, south of Lovingston have now dissipated as the atmosphere has dried out for a time. But we may get a rogue shower, especially south of the James River, mainly south side Virginia over the next a few hours as we have that pesky area of low pressure in the upper levels of the atmosphere with that onshore easterly wind flow. Our high res weather tracker is showing maybe a shower point south this evening. Most of you I-64 north will stay dry. Patchy fog will form and then tomorrow afternoon more in the way of sunshine and we'll watch Thursday. Maybe some scattered showers will try to back their way westbound. We'll see about that. And then on Saturday, here comes a cold front from the northeast. This will give us a chance for a shower and thunder shower later in the day into Saturday night before we cool down briefly on Sunday. Your forecast overnight, mainly dry, patchy fog, lows in the 50s. Tomorrow's outlook will have highs of 75 to 80 degrees, some sunshine breaking out. And then your allergy forecast shows us low levels of pollen. The grass pollen is the main allergen this time of year. That'll be low until perhaps the weekend. Here's that seven day forecast. We'll watch for a spotty shower chance on June 1st, Thursday in the low 80s, upper 80s dry Friday. And we'll watch Saturday, almost 90, a late day shower and storm chance. A little cooler on Sunday in the 70s. And the next week we're back in the lower 80s.